There are many things about the way we make drumsticks that separate us from the drumstick manufacturers. However, none are as important as the first six steps. Implementing these six steps allows Vic Firth to focus on the wood from the green stage all the way through to the end. They have 100% control of their product through the entire process. And in today's business environment, that's a really impressive accomplishment. These steps to excellence include Step 1. Vic Firth purchases green squares and boards. Step 2. Boards are cut into squares using our on-site sawmill. Step 3. Exacting drying process is carried out in on-site kilns. Step 4. The squares are molded into smaller squares. Step 5. The smaller squares are reduced to dowels and inspected. Step 6. The dowels are reduced again in a special sander. Let's now explore each step. Vic purchases green squares and boards. Wood that is cut from a live tree and has not been dried is referred to as green squares. In this state, the wood is carrying a very high percentage of weight due to water, which is known as moisture content. And you can't forget that this is a living thing that you're making this drumstick out of. When the process begins, there's rough, roughly 50% moisture content. It hasn't been processed. The moisture is still there. Why? Because it gives Vic Firth the option to adjust that moisture content. There's two different kinds of moisture, the moisture outside of the cell and the moisture inside of the cell. The moisture found outside and between the cells is called free water. And the moisture found inside the cells is referred to as bound water. Moisture within a piece of wood is going to do what it wants to do unless you manage that. And the only way that a drumstick manufacturer can know with 100% certainty is to do the kiln drying themselves. It starts with buying the right raw materials. The suppliers have to meet a rigorous specification for that wood before it could even be considered. Hickory has 14 different species. That's a lot of different varieties for, for one type of wood. Only four of those 14 are ideal for stick making. So it really comes down to where the wood is grown. Hickory is only found in the United States and the best hickory is found in, in the southern U.S. and hence this is where Vic Firth gets all its wood. The maple wood is coming from up north in Canada. Uh, R&D is very extensive. When you think about a drumstick you're like how how much can possibly be involved in this this drumstick, like, I mean, I, I get it, they cut down a piece of wood, they put it and they spin it down, it looks like a stick, stamp your name on it, and boom. And when we work on a simple thing as a drumstick, a new stick, we spend many hours reshaping, redesigning, retesting, till we get the perfect feel, either for us or for the artists that we're designing it for. These guys are artists. I mean, they are artists. They, they're as involved in the development and understanding about what they're doing as we are, you know, playing the instrument with the sticks. I mean, I was absolutely blown away. I mean, I had no idea that, that, that it was that involved and that they were that precise and on top of all of the different factors involved to make the best stick in the world. <laughs> 